The Void World, an update that everybody thought would be amazing has turned into a disaster. This may or may not be one of the most controversial updates, and to be honest, I have a lot of things to discuss because, for one, there is a lot of bugs this update, a lot of people hate it, and I'm gonna tell you guys exactly why. The new update obviously introduced the Void, which brought the Prison World, which is basically the first set of mini areas that we are going to experience in the Void. It's very similar to the Void inside of Pet Simulator X, where there is a white island that you spawn on in this biome there are cannons that lead you to different worlds blah 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 this is basically identical the only changes are there's more stuff inside of the void area with the super computer and stuff and that is a topic that i do definitely want to discuss but uh we have a bunch of problems including one that i'm experiencing right now in the new update somehow they broke the inventory system and as you can see i have zero pets equipped yet i have a titanic pet behind me now if i go ahead click it it duplicate somehow like how did that even happen bro this wasn't an issue until this update too and now i literally have like two titanic pets running around keep in mind i do not have a normal titanic atlantean jellyfish like it is saying in this game right now a lot of these bugs however though are very minor they're not too game breaking and aren't exactly the reason why everybody is complaining there's a lot of good sides of this update as well one of them being the brand new clan wars which has been favored by like all of the community inside of this game that actually does clan wars and that is because now there is a lot more huge pets to compete for first place obviously gets the best which is the rainbow version of the huge dominus and then second place and third place get a golden version and then four through ten get a normal version this is a lot more balanced a lot more clans are going to be able to compete now and it won't just be pay to win um flooded by cross traders or anybody that is doing macros and stuff like that obviously the hoverboard and like the booth have stayed the same that's still pretty cool and you obviously have the clan gift for the top 500 and the best part of this event is that it is ran by collecting the most prison keys which actually also goes into a problem that i'm gonna discuss later in this video but firstly before i do continue i did promise in my last video i was gonna pick a random winner for a huge pet and so here is the winner from the last video fire tricky congratulations um i think i said i was gonna do a bejeweled pet so there we go boom congrats on winning the giveaway and boom there we go send just like so the pet has been sent i am gonna show you guys how you can enter into another giveaway for another huge pet in this video as well so stay tuned this video is gonna get very interesting might be one of my most controversial videos too i don't know we'll see the way you get the prison keys is obtained from the uh prison world and it actually just does tell you earn prison keys from random drops and if i go into my inventory you will see i have gained plenty i have 180 normal prison keys and i have four golden prison keys the golden ones actually have a 10 times huge pet chance um whenever you open one of these prison doors right here for example um i have bat tech right here so let's open them out and if i open it i go to this thing um there's gonna be some huge pets in it that i can get and it has a 10 times huge chance so if i open it i have a decent chance to get it but obviously my luck's terrible i didn't get it and you obviously also have the normal ones which you can open and the chances of this one are just base chances it's very rare but the biggest problem problem with these keys is is for the clan war now they are untradeable so it can't be really exploited and no like popular i don't know clan can get an advantage over other people because they are tradable so that is a good thing but there is currently a bug going on with the clan wars system now i'm not gonna assume that anybody in like any of these clans does it because i'm not sure how you do it but um a lot of people in here have some very high amount of coins or uh points 
Keep in mind, I've been in the game ever since the update released. I have one of the best pet teams inside of the game, and I have been sitting inside of this final area just breaking stuff with some very good enchants to increase my drop chances. As you can see, I even have them empowered, so it's even better. And I just actually got another key. But the problem is, with this clan war, there is a rebirth bug. If you have not gotten Rebirth A, consider yourself at a massive advantage because if I go to the or the tech world, I'll be able to show you something pretty cool. For the people that have not hit Rebirth A, which is the newest Rebirth that gives you access to the Void, there is a massive advantage because inside of this area, when I actually grind in here, I will not get many rewards. Like, I'm not going to get any drops or anything because this is no longer my best area and the game doesn't want me farming in here much. But people that have not gotten the rebirth inside of the area will be able to get the most out of this area. And by far, this area gives you far more rewards and it's also um, actually just like a lot better in like breaking stuff. And if you don't have Rebirth A, you can get Prison Keys from here. This will obviously also count towards your clan points. And it is actually very overpowered because it is just free Prison Keys. And you can also Rebirth later on. But this only works if you don't have Rebirth A. After you've gotten Rebirth A, you're kind of screwed. And it is not very helpful. I am definitely sure though that the developers are working on patching this. So obviously no hate to the the developers because personally i think this was a really good update and i'm gonna explain it why as well but let's go ahead travel back to world three the void and here we go come on please send us into the black hole but the thing that i have been telling a lot of people is that we need to keep in mind this entire update was made in a span of a week the developers are updating the game every week and to be able to execute such a good update is very difficult and honestly i think they did a really good job overall there is obviously some bugs in the game such as this one that i have myself and this one is in my opinion the most annoying one it does not let me do my rank quest because the third quest is broken here i just have random question marks there and now i am forced to do diamond breakables on my last quest a lot of people are also complaining about the fact that there is only four brand new eggs even though um you know in a normal update that we would get there would be like over 20 new eggs once again i feel like this goes back to the fact that we are receiving daily updates now it's been the fourth week that we have received the daily update so it's it's an amazing job that the developers are doing and in the past they did actually do a lot more areas per update but I think it's better personally not having to do like a million areas for no reason when I'm not even going to be in like 90% of them. The only thing that I wish was a little bit different is the way that the eggs work because there's only like four of them. But I feel like the developers have probably ran out of egg ideas and they just don't know what pets to make to put into eggs. And because of that, this update is a little bit more difficult for free to play players because the pets aren't as good and Enough to be in used inside of the best area like they would be in previous updates this also led to another uprising problem that everybody is facing that has spent money on this new um enchantment the superior chest mimic it is currently worth 800 million gems which i think is ridiculous for this enchant bro because i'm gonna be honest do not buy this bro do not buy the enchant i know i have a bunch of these so i'm not even saying it for my own gain because I have two of them and don't buy it. It is a scam. In the update log, it does state that these have three times better loot than a regular mini chest that you can get um, from like the chest mimic book or just them spawning in. But then when you scroll further down, you will also notice that there's a new achievement for it, which is done by breaking superior mini chests for rewards. However, right here, they point out that these spawn three times less than mini chests. If you haven't gotten the idea, you get three times more rewards, but they spawn at three times less often. So unless you don't have like a boss chest mimic or normal chest mimic books, 
this would be good for you but if you do already have these this is an absolute waste of gems or robux so i highly recommend you do not buy it and if you actually do decide to buy it it's go ahead and quickly sell it for a ton of gems and buy chess mimic books because these give you so many drops same with the chess mimic but they are very expensive to buy so i wouldn't really recommend them especially if you don't have the gems for it something that i think a lot of people will appreciate though there is a lot of brand new huge opportunities with the best one in my opinion being this one even though the chances are very low it is a pretty nice opportunity to get a huge pet because you are not limited by anything if you have the prison keys and they are fairly easy to get so it's nice that you can go through here and why did i just free preston bro you better stay in this cell as soon as i collect this come on or give me a huge pet and no you didn't okay yeah you're staying in here buddy and i'm pretty sure when you actually open all of the prisons and go out of them they will all like refresh the next time you join the game or actually yeah there we go they instantly refreshed and here we go let's free my boy razor fish bro and uh, let's see bro come on razor are you gonna give me a huge no he's not but i will have a video coming out probably on tuesday showing you guys the best way to actually get huges in this update because there is some very good ways that i highly recommend on doing and i cannot wait to show you guys yeah and there is another bug with this and it's only a visual bug but it shows the pets inside of this thing as side Cyber agonies these are fixed in new servers i believe but for some reason everything is a cyber agony the pet that you're actually supposed to get from here is a prison cat which with my luck i will probably never get it yeah i opened all of them once again bro and i didn't get anything good or actually no we still have preston to free again you know what i don't think i want to do this you know what preston you you can stay in there bro yeah keep doing your sit-ups but i think overall getting updates like this every week is definitely something that everybody should appreciate there are obviously a bunch of bugs in them but i think like they all get fixed within one to two days so if you're seeing this video like three or four days later after it's posted it's probably not even a bug anymore but i did want to definitely show you guys on how you could enter in a huge giveaway that i'm gonna be doing in this video and there is only a few simple requirements but there is only one more thing that i actually had a little bit of a complaint about and that is with this vip world right here now if you don't actually know inside of the void it's unlike the tech world so there obviously isn't any quest that you can do for um rewards and by rewards i am talking about these quest medals right here that you uh earn for completing area quests in this area there is no area quest or at least you would think so however when you actually place your pets into here um there will be be area quests and you can actually complete them i managed to complete one and um it is a little bit difficult to complete because you don't know what the area quest is and overall i mean this is just something that a normal player can't access because it's in a vip only um like spot even though it's not a major issue uh for people that do decide to open loot boxes and gifts like that um i'm so sorry that this is a bug it'll probably be fixed i don't know but part two of this update will be probably pretty massive because there is so much to go with the void world as you can see there's only one area that we have completed so far and there is a one a two and three more pathways on this side but it doesn't end there because on the other side we have a one um two three and four four more so there's seven more areas that are to be added inside of here and each of them are probably going to be similar to the prison with like five areas or maybe a little bit more but to enter in this huge giveaway and i'm probably going to go ahead and give away another bejeweled i have a lot of these and if you want to win one of these um all you have to do is just you know comment down your username tell me why you think you should win it and also watch this video on the screen it's one of my best videos yet and i handpicked it for you i'm sure this guy would agree click the video quick this video is ending fast so you better click it all right bye bye